Hi, I'm Tammy Atley. Today we're gonna be doing some piped cookies. What we're gonna do is like figure piping only with cookie dough. And so that way, once the cookies are baked, there's no decorating, they're done. So it's pretty fast, but the prep work is a little, is, well, it's just like coloring your frosting, only you just do cookie dough and color cookie dough. So what I've got here is a cookie dough recipe. You can use pretty much um, most cookie dough recipes, uh, your favorite cookie dough recipe. The only thing is, is you have, it has to be soft enough that it's not one of those, not a roll out cookie dough, otherwise you're not gonna be able to squeeze it. One of the recipes that I always use is a spritz cookie recipe. That's S-P-R-I-T-Z. And it's, um, it's well, I got it from my grandmother who's German, but um, I believe it's a typical German cookie. But the, uh, there are many, many recipes online. Use one that uses shortening, if at all possible. You can use a butter spritz recipe, but the, if you have hot hands um, or you do a lot of uh, squeezing, the butter will tend to separate, the oil might separate. So it's best to use a shortening based spritz recipe. I know they've got them all over the internet because I looked them up. Most recipes use about two and a half to two, two and a quarter to two and a half cups of flour and one egg. That's the recipe I would use as one of those. However, I changed it to add an extra egg. So all I did was do the regular spritz recipe online with shortening, added an extra egg to it and a tablespoon of milk. And instead of getting a ball of dough, the dough is, a much, is much softer because spritz normally goes through a uh, can, you press it out. That way, with that extra egg, you can actually pipe it. Okay? So here I have some of the spritz dough, and you can see it's quite soft. I can still, you know, mold it with my hands, but um, it's definitely, it's not, you know, like a ball of dough like you would have for a rolled sugar cookie. I'm gonna add some lemon yellow to it. You wanna be careful when you add your um, gel, your, any of your colors, your food colors, that you don't over knead it because it will start to break down, separate you know, the gluten and the flour and everything. It's gonna, it's gonna get in really grainy, you'll end up with a really tough cookie. And these cookies are very flake, flaky, crispy, soft. They're crispy, airy type cookie. They're really yummy. Add lots of almond to mine. So try to knead it. Get the color in you know, without kneading too much. Try to get it incorporated. Uh, just a little bit. This is a little, it's a little warm. If your hands are hot, you know, definitely, you know, want to get a little, I'm going to put a little flour on my hands so I can knead it up so it doesn't stick. Still isn't real sticky. And it's worse if it's butter. With the shortening, it's not so bad. But with the butter, it could be really messy. So it could just melt in your hands, so. Okay, you can try it. I mean, it'll work. If your hands aren't really hot, it'll work. Okay, so I just kneaded that color in. And I've got a couple different bags here. I have some regular, um, just disposable bags, and then I've got some parchment bags. I forgot what I'm making with the yellow. <laughs> oh, I'm making the ducky. Okay, so we're gonna put a number 12 tip in here and put the dough in. There we go. So I've got all different colors here. I left some plain, so it'll come out kind of white. And then I've got red and blue and green and orange and yellow. So I've got a couple different colors here. Most of the tips are pretty big tips. I've also got uh, some sprinkles and things here. I got some of the round confettis and I got some of the star confettis. And let's see, I've got a couple of nonpareils. I have mostly tips 12, but I have a couple 10s and 4s. I'll tell you when I use those. And I've got parchment paper here, which I'm trying to grab, and my uh, cookie sheets. I'm using the air bakes, but you don't have to. So what we're gonna do here is start piping. And the first thing I'm gonna do is, I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with uh, the pumpkin. So with the orange, I used um, a true orange, or you can use electric orange color. Either one will work, I think that's orange. Yep, that's orange. And you're gonna pipe a pumpkin, and it's done just like you do figure piping. So, hopefully my bag won't split. So we come around, and around, and you do have to use good pressure. 
You're just piping C's and opposite C's. And then one right down the middle. Okay. And the nice thing about this dough is you can, if you, you know, oopsie somewhere, if you need to smooth something out, make sure the pieces are touching each other, but you can actually, you know, press it into itself. That's the nice thing about cookie dough.